the strap off of Party Zone. We're gonna see what it looks like for the first time in a. Mm. Oh. <laughs> You're about to enter another dimension with your host, pilot, and DJ, Captain Bizarre. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Hey, what's going on, boys and girls? Just heading over to Kevin's place. Got a. Whoa, crack me a Diet Coke first, of course. Ah, yes, nice and cold. I'm going to bring Kevin this. It is uh, a couple likes for his party pooper zone project that he's working on. If you watch the first episode, you would see just how um, much in shambles it was. He started taking apart the cabinet and head and it was, yeah, it was bad. The head kind of just fell into pieces. The main thing was that we want to go check out his progress because while I was away for the weekend, I played in three pinball tournaments. Stay in your lane, man. I played um, at Maple Pinball, their Friday weekly. I think I, I finished in first position and then I managed to die in the playoffs and ended up in eighth. And then Saturday was two tournaments. I, uh, in the last round, was tied for first with two other people and somehow managed to finish in fourth, one out of the money. And then the last tournament uh, actually took second, so I was happy about that. But while I was busy playing pinball, Kevin was in the garage working his pants off and he just sent me some photos. Um, Wow, what a transformation already to the cabinet. He has made some serious progress and he is now kind of like ready for powder coating. So that's why he needs some legs. There he is. I was just listening to the radio and it was knock, knock, knocking on Kevin's door. And there you go. Hey, look. Legs. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So you're ready for some powder coating. I, yep. s I smell paint. You've been uh, working your butt off. Where's Dutch? Uh, his buddy's over. They just oh, okay. that video. All right. Oh, here it is. Bam. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to send all the photos you just sent me, like include them in the video because then you can see kind of the progress and the process. This is the finished product, which is amazing, but it's also great to see oh, the progress too, like. Yeah, so that's got new new sides, new bottom. So yeah, this thing looked like almost all new. So new sides completely, yep. new bottom piece. So then, like all these, there's a lot of little pieces here that you don't really yeah. realize are part of the equation until you start taking down every link, little uh, right down to the bare bones, right? Yeah. So I had to like mark out, and I end up having a notch both sides to fit that cross piece in. Oh, this piece here? Yeah, so it's got little notches in both oh, sides. So oh, no shit. Those all out. Wow. And then, uh, so it's all glued back together, put it back together. Used as much what I could. Had to re-drill everything. Um, That's, uh... To match the other side, and then put everything back so that train and light would sit against this, and then the speaker panel would sit against this in the right, right. position. Yeah, there's some fine tuning going on there, but I bet. The, eh? the reason I wanted to save this piece is because it has the notch out, and I was wasn't going to do it, but uh, the speaker actually goes into that notch. Oh no, shit! So, so every little notch matters in this uh, equation here. So luckily it was okay. So I used it. Wow. The rest of it was pretty crappy, but I had cut all new T molding slots. Yeah, I saw that. Um, the other one was so split apart that I would never be able to put it back together. So. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that's the reason we put the new sides on. And those are the old sides over right here. Oh, you got the old sides? Oh, here we go. We can look at the before. So they're all... Oh, uh, yeah. That's actually the good spot. <laughs> the bottom was worse. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Trying to, like, re... Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yep, that ain't going to cut it. So this will maybe be some art on your wall or something. Or maybe fire pit. <laughs> Not sure about those. So. <laughs> yeah, a little little uh, faded and far gone, but yeah. that is the before. Here's the bottom. Yeah, I used it to paint on top. Oh yeah, it looks better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks better because 
I just, I used my... What are all these nails for? Was that, that was the, remember oh, was, was that for the trim piece or something? No, it was like the cross piece. Remember we were saying there was all those screws? And we're like, what's all of these things? They're all drywall screwed. Yeah. Came in there, but it broke all the heads off. Ooh, fancy. Hey, there he is. Hey, Dutch. How's it going, Dutch's buddy? This is my friend. Hey, how haven't? are you? I, didn't, I haven't seen this yet. That's great. You haven't? The head? No, or the whole cabinet. It all, it all decaled. Oh, yeah. My check, it was just black. Oh, yeah. He, wor he works quick. Um, tilting T, shout out. He's like, oh, you know, Kevin, he'll probably have it done in a month. So Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted, he says. <laughs> tilting T. So, I mean, I'm just so admiring that this cabinet art really turned out well, eh? Yeah, it's actually pretty awesome. It just looks like quality. Um, this is the retro refurb. Retro refurbs? Okay. Uh, no, actually. Retro refurbs are the side blades. This was uh, pinballdecals.eu. Pinballdecals.eu. And you just ordered them yourself? or? Yep. Yeah, okay. They look like this is the place very good quality. Oh, same place as the Popeye decals. Yep. Okay. And there's the new bottom. Man, oh man. So you must have been working your butt off all weekend long, eh? Well, I'm playing pinball over at Maple. Yeah, that was probably way more fun, though. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty fun. It was uh, a lot of pinball. Uh, long days. Well, Saturday was a long day, but it was definitely fun. Yeah. Uh, so you're ready for some powder coating. Yes. And... The play field's over there, so I'm just going to set it up on the rotisserie so I can get it oh yeah play field is next in line so what's all going in legs the coin door stuff yeah the uh, hinges side rails speaker panel speaker panel uh, okay so you're forms and stuff over there as well oh the wire forms nice that'll oh. be nice so this is a small example of the uh rustification going on here so those are going to buy all new oh yeah all new yeah very nice yeah. well if you don't know the history this machine came out of an arcade that was rotting for like 20 years and the thing was covered in like an inch of mold and mildew so uh I, i'm gonna have to pull up some of those photos or video segments for like say, at comparison least, purposes at least the picture when we folded the head down it was like white fur right <laughs> yeah yeah white i'm gonna i'm gonna have to pull that out because that is insane how how far this machine's come already and how bad it was but yeah, that's uh, that's where it is right now, the party pooper zone. Uh, oh, also, I just wanted to say a quick shout out to Tilting Tea. I finally wore the shirt you gave me. Thank you very much. It's a System 11 t-shirt, and uh, I wore it at my tournament on Friday. So thanks for that, buddy. It was uh, it, fit, it fits well, and um, yeah, I like it a lot. Thank you. Um, there's your progress. Not bad for a weekend at the Grizzly Garage, eh? It's freaking amazing. All right. Well, I'll have to keep updated on this from time to time, and we'll see the finished result one of these days. But uh, that's a pretty serious dent you did there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Bonus footage. We almost forgot. Star Wars is done. I can't remember the exact state it was in the last video. I think I don't think the head and cabinet were together. Or were they? I think I just had a set out top. Oh, okay. Anyway. No, it wasn't. It was just in pieces over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because we were looking inside at the uh, the fun wiring hack. But here it is. This is the finished cabinet project. Corey's going to come in uh, and haul this away at some point and finish all the mechanics and the playfield stuff. That's, uh, that's Cor Corey's job. But, whoa, look at this. The uh, art blades look pretty friggin' sweet. Let's check that out. Oh uh, yeah, look at this, just so, everything is nice flat black. Yep. Coin door, legs, you got the blue cabinet protectors. Well, I put those on, those are actually for black hole. Oh, are they? <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this is nice. All the way up to the uh, hinges. There it is. That is 
while we're all just slacking away, watching TV and playing pinball, Kevin's here friggin' banging off pinball machines, one at a time. That is awesome. Stand back and get the hole. There we go. Star Wars is complete. Oh, power. Why not? Cool. It actually works too. I kind of just put the morets back on. Oh, uh, did you? <laughs> nice. Threw the morets back on the uh, lamp wiring there and uh, the lamp wiring hack, I should say. Yeah, we got no but job. Yeah, it actually. Yeah, I remember when we picked this up. It it did turn on and play. So. Uh, there you have it. Star Wars is done. Okay, here's a little teaser video of when we pulled out this party zone out of the uh, Nightmare Arcade. Just, uh, we got the strap off of party zone. We're going to see what it looks like for the first time in a... Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Uh -oh. That'll clean up. I beheld that. Uh -oh. oh my god, look at the... Uh, you can Sides. Uh, actually clean yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, if you want to watch the rest of that video, I'll throw the link in the description. It's called Arcade Nightmare. If you just Google that, I'm sure you could find it as well. So it's come a long way already.